In this video, we are going to use the Nernst equation and we'll be calculating the cell potential in what is referred to as a concentration cell. And what that means is we have the same metal anode and cathode and the same metal in solution. And the dissolved metal in solution is prepared at two different concentrations. So for example, I'm going to use copper. And just because copper is colored, copper 2, so if we had a copper 2 solution, we would have a blue color. A one molar solution would be dark blue. Well, not dark blue, but the intensity of the color would be greater than the more dilute solution. So this would be, uh, I'll just say pale, I guess. So if we recall the Nernst equation, we can calculate the cell potential at non-standard conditions. And that is E would be the E cell at the standard conditions minus 0 0.0592 divided by the number of electrons transferred in, and that's a volt, times the log of Q. And what we're going to do, we're going to rearrange this equation because if we have the same metal in solution, then the E cell if we use the value for the half reaction for copper plus 2 getting reduced to copper, that has a cell, a half cell potential of oops, 0.337 volts. So if we take the difference, 0.337 minus 0.337, we're going to end up getting 0 for this part of that equation. So we can rearrange the Nernst equation and just write E for the cell is equal to negative 0 0.0592 volts divided by the number of electrons transferred times the log of Q. And if we think about which direction the universe is going to proceed, more or less, uh, the concentration, we're going to have copper plus 2 going uh, to copper plus 2. I know that looks like it doesn't make sense, but the more concentrated solution is going to end up becoming more dilute because nature always tries to come to equilibrium and so our product will be the more dilute solution and our reactant will be the more concentrated solution. So the when the reaction comes to equilibrium, so I'll just write that at equilibrium, both uh, half cells will be the same concentration. And again, that's just what the universe does according to the laws of thermodynamics, comes to equilibrium. And so we can simplify the Nernst equation for a concentration cell, and again, that's a galvanic cell made of the same metal in solution, but at different concentrations. So we could rearrange this and write E cell is equal to negative 0 0.0592 volts. Remember this number, 0 0.0592, comes from combining lots of uh, constants, and we can write log, and then since the dilute 
the concentrated solution is going to become more dilute than the log of the dilute divided by the concentrated solutions is what the Nernst equation simplifies to. So we'll go ahead and calculate this for the example that I gave above. And that was if one of our beakers, if we were making our solution in a beaker, one of the beakers would have a one molar solution and the other beaker would have a 0 0.001 molar solution. And if we plug that in, we can calculate the potential for that. So we'll go back up to here and rewrite the Nernst equation. E cell is negative 0 0.0592 volts divided by two in this case because two electrons are going to be transferred and that would be the log of 0 0.00100 divided by one and if we rewrite that again 0.0592 volts divided by two electrons the log since the more concentrated solution is one and again these are molar concentrations and that would just give us the log of 0 0.001 so solving for that 0 0.0592 0 0.001 this is 1 times 10 to the minus 1 2 3 <clears throat> so the log of 10 to the minus 3 is actually just going to give us a minus 3. 0 0.0592, whoops, I left out the unit volts, divided by 2, left out the negative sign, times a negative 3. <clears throat> and if we do that on the calculator, <clears throat> since that's negative and that's negative, I'm going to just leave out the negative signs. 0 0.0592 divided by 2 times 3 and we get 0 0.0888 so the potential for this cell would be 0 0.0888 volts And that's a relatively small value, but again, we're using the same metal. So the term that we would normally obtain using the Nernst equation, if we had two different metals, we would have a standard potential, which would be the difference between each half cell reaction. But again, copper, or no matter what metal it is, the E cell for that difference would be zero. So our first term is zero right here. And so just the non-standard condition potential shows up.